What's up guys, JR Raymond back again coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop here in Classic Lanes, where today we're gonna take that new forge out on the lanes. That Motive's got that new forge and the new Venom. Uh, so we've got it, we're gonna take it out on a 42 foot leak pattern. Haven't thrown this thing yet, so we're gonna find out together what this thing's all about. Warmed up with that Strata, you just saw that video yesterday about the Strata. You saw how round and smooth that was. Is the forge gonna be the same way? We're not really sure. Definitely a big, different cover, but it's gonna be a strong early cover, just like those last couple of balls you've seen. So let's see how this one compares up against those other ones here in a minute. Stay tuned. If you haven't already, head over to patreon.com slash life traction control and hit those support buttons. Support the channel as much as you can, if you can. Uh, that's one real good way we can make sure we get all the new equipment, everything we need to make these reviews as, as good as we possibly can. So head over to patreon.com slash life traction control uh, and support the channel as much as you possibly can. If not, that's okay. Hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, share these with everybody you know. Uh, and here we go. Let's take a look at that forge. All right, here we go. We got that new forge. This one ends up being, uh, what was it, 55 by 5 by uh, 55. Uh, puts the pin, no, 45. Puts the pin directly above my ring or my middle finger. Uh, maybe a little closer to my bridge, but you guys can see the layout right there on the screen. But we're going to try and play straighter. This ball hadn't gone down the lane yet, except for you saw in that video a couple days ago where I used it to get Deadwood or used it to get another ball back. So that was about it. So here we go. We're going to try in that 8, 9, 10 range, a little straighter. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that hooked. Woo, that thing picked up, and it went left. I mean, way left, like immediately. That was crazy. So that was a lot like the Zenith. So that's crazy. Anthony is telling me to move left. So I guess I should move left, but we're not gonna move left yet. We're gonna fudge it a little bit and see if we can't get it to go straighter. All right, knuckle puck, here we go. Nope. <laughs> this thing looks so much, it's so early. Uh, this is gonna be another one, just like, I. I I guess it would be a good comparison for the Zenith. I want to see if it's going to continue through the pins. The Zenith did a pretty dang good job getting back through the pins. So I, I can't even throw any more straight like that because you see how early it hooks. So I'm going to move left immediately. I'm going to go right to that 14, 15 range, but I got money on it that it's not going to hit the pocket. But we'll see. We'll try. I hit my leg. Oh wow, it actually floated through there. That was pretty cool. So maybe this is just really super responsive to the uh, the friction. So that one was a little left off my hand and sat there. So maybe this one just does really well in the oil. Who knows? I'm gonna keep going left. I'm gonna go five left now. deflected, but it still struck. It still found a way to get through the pin, so that was good. I'd like it to continue through the pin deck a little bit better than that. Um, but I'm still, I'm using a really rolly hand position, so maybe that's why. So I can start, as I make this next move, I'll start getting my hand around it and see if it will, see if it'll continue a little bit better down lane. Nah, see that one deflected a little bit too. This is gonna be one of those real controllable bowling balls. This is really gonna be, I mean, just like the other forges, you guys saw those forges from those uh, previous bowling balls that Motive had. They were really used in the times when those guys, especially the guys on tour, when they needed to control the pattern, when they needed a big, strong bowling ball that was gonna be smooth, and they knew exactly what they were gonna get out of it, that's what, when they went to the forge. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go a few more left now. I'm gonna make sure my hand really gets around this one to get it to go through the pens.
Got the trip four. That's good news. I feel like Ronnie Russell now. Good grief. Uh, well, no, I can't say that because I only tripped the four pin. If I was Ronnie Russell, I would have tripped the four, seven, and the ten. About six times in one game. <laughs> so let's see if we can go further left. Further left and around it like that. See what she does. I twirled that one up. Yeah, it's strong. This thing is super strong. It doesn't matter how far I move left, it's still gonna read that front part of the lane. So it's gonna force my angles open. And I'm just, I'm not so sure. This is really gonna want some oil. This ball is really gonna want some oil. I'm gonna see if I can't make this though. I haven't shot a spare in a couple of weeks. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, that was just an awful attempt. See, I need practice. Need practice. All right. Let's see what we got. We're going to move left again, up against the ball return. And I'm going to have to open my angle up and for it to have a chance because it's hooking so early. Can't quite get it to the right side of the head pin. I'm moving to the ball return and I'm going to keep my eyes where they were a lot last shot. Oh, still tried to hook early. I like the motion of it though. Overall, I really do. I like the motion of this bowling ball. It's not really quitting. You know, especially now that I have my hand wrapped around it, the ball's not really stopping. The problem is it's just hooking a little too early for me. So, I mean, I, if, I, if it was me, I'd probably take the surface up a little bit and leave it dull. So I'd take it up to like 3,000 and just keep it somewhat with a little bit of a sheen on it. <laughs> Which maybe that's what I'll do in the next video with this ball because like I said before, I'm gonna start doing two videos for every ball eventually and I'm gonna use them on beat up conditions and I'm gonna change surfaces and all that. So I'm gonna try that again. And this time I'm gonna try to be softer with my hand and see if I can float it out there. Well, that was a little better. Still red early, but at least it got to the pocket the way it's supposed to. You can see how hard it hit. I mean, it's not like it has a problem with getting through the pins when it gets there. Even the ones that look like they weren't going to strike or that they weren't going to go through the pins, it still went through the pins. So that's always a good sign. Now I'm going to get in front of the ball return. Let's see what she's got way left. Maybe now I can shut my angles back down again. Hopefully it won't hook early. Now we're in the puddle. Nope. Nope. It struck. But it's still, no matter where I'm at, it's going to force me to go with open angles. So I'm going to do that one more time. One more time from in there. And I'm going to make sure I wrap my hand around it. Get it to the right. This thing's flaring a million, though. Like, so much flare. <laughs> For a five inch layout, it's still a lot of flare. All right, try this again. Try to get it going right. There you go. Yeah, so there you go. So even though it forces my angles open, it doesn't matter. It still works. It still gets through the pen, so that's good. So now I'm going to go. Let me see if I, I mean, my theory has to be right. I should be able to just throw it dead right at the gutter. It should continue off of it and should still strike, or at least look pretty good. I'm gonna move back right a little bit and I'm gonna try to throw it dead right. Yeah, so it gets back through and light swishes through the pocket, so that's good. That's really good. So there's that new forge, very versatile. You can see how it's good from just about all the parts of the lines. Obviously I couldn't go very straight with it because of how early this thing hooked. It does force you to open your angles up a little bit because it is super strong, uh, a lot like that Zenith was. Um, I think this one actually had a little bit more continuation than the Zenith. It probably had a little bit more pop down lane than the Zenith did. The Zenith was a little bit more rounded, 
but you could see how much stronger, uh, I don't want to say it was stronger than the Zenith, but overall it was pretty much similar, just a little bit different down lane than each other. Um, so when I have to force my angles open or I need to throw it to the right, I'd go with the Forge. When I can shut my angles down and I need something a little bit smoother, I'd go with something like the Zenith or even the, the Results Solid. So this gives you some ideas, or even that Strata. The Strata looked really good in the same sense of ball motion as well. Um, so four different ball reactions out of those four balls I just named off, and you could definitely use all four in your bag. You get a good variance through all four of them. So that's all I got for you today. Make sure to head over to BowlerX.com. Link's going to be in the description to get yours today. Uh, but until next time, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you later. Take care.